It's a brand new day and currently it's 7.06 in the morning, February 13th. Seems to be a good day today because there's no dark clouds. It's gonna be a hot day today, maximum 33 degrees. I really hate hot days, like it just, it's just not me. So it's Tuesday, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna freshen up and then get ready and head for work. Obviously I'm gonna have breakfast, which is gonna be tea and biscuit. So yeah, without any further delays, let's just get ready. Okay, now time for me to do my morning ritual and then have breakfast before leaving for work. So let's begin. You might be the one that truly gets me. And I might be the one you really want. Okay, my morning ritual is done. So as I said, I'm gonna have tea and biscuit and this is gonna be my quick breakfast before leaving for work. Also, I'm back in my iPhone 15 Pro Max to do the daily vlogging because although the camera quality is much better and I don't notice the bug that I used to face in the S23 and the other Samsung Galaxy devices because whenever I was taking videos from the Galaxy devices, it would black out like a couple of milliseconds in the start or a couple of seconds in the start. And then I would always have to edit that out. So that's gone. But the editing in the software that I use, the same software does not have a problem on the iPhone lineup, no matter which iPhone you have. But any of the Samsung Galaxy devices, it's not very easy. Whenever you think you're cutting on the right places, it's not, there's like a delay in the audio with the app. So I don't know, that app was supposed to work better on Android devices, but it's not just the Samsung Galaxy devices. It's any other Android phones. It doesn't work good. It works good on the iPhone and it's much more precise and accurate on the iPhone. Doesn't matter which iPhone. But yeah, that's why I moved back to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The audio quality on the S24 Ultra was good. The video quality was good. But yeah, editing, it was not good. And again, transferring the files from the S24 Ultra to my Mac, where I edit most of the time, is not easy. So that's why I was like, okay, let's just record on the iPhone because transferring the files from the iPhone to the Mac is very easy, very simple, and very straightforward. So I was like, let's just go back to this. But who knows, maybe in the future, I'll go back to the S24 Ultra for daily vlogs recording, and maybe I'll connect the cable to my MacBook Pro and transfer the files like that. That's also a possibility, but let's see. Because I do work full-time and I do this vlog on the side, so my time is very limited because with work, coming back, recording everything, editing everything, it's already a time-consuming thing. So if I have to spend additional time to transfer files from my S24 Ultra or any of the Android devices to the Mac for editing, then, you know, like it's a lot because I'm already very limited on time. But let's see, because I'll be carrying both the phones, so there is a possibility sometimes I could be recording, you know, with both the devices. Sometimes I could only be using one, but let's see. Okay, so the lift is here, so I'm about to head for work, so I'll be back in about maybe eight hours. A few hours later. Finally back home after eight hours. It's also raining now. It was raining a lot before. Currently, it's died down a bit. It's still raining, but very little. As you can see down there, all water. So yeah, it's like, you know, like that area, not raining, this area raining. So I took a tram today because I didn't want to get wet and the tram stops just right there. So it's very close for me. So ever since getting the tattoo, every time I come home, I basically wash it and I clean it because it's been, you know, like underneath the clothes all day. So it needs to be cleansed a little bit, I guess. So currently it's 6.24 p.m. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a little bit of tea and then chicken pie. Okay, so we're in the app and this is the S24 Ultra. So in the S24 Ultra, we're in the app called InShot. And this is what I mostly use to edit the videos for my YouTube, especially when I don't have access to my laptop. I use this app to edit and this works flawlessly on the iPhone. Every iPhone models, it works flawlessly, but I've not had any luck with any Samsung devices or even Google devices. So any other Android devices, editing with this app on those devices is a very painful Pain. And the reason it's a pain is because, for example, so this is all edited. But let me show you. So if I want to cut at a certain point, say maybe, let's see the end of this clip. 9 in the morning and the weather is... Okay, so you heard the word morning, right? So now if I want to cut exactly in the word morning, it's going to be very hard. So let's see. 7.09 in the morning. See, it, the G is gone. So now if I let it play a little bit more. In the morning and I tried to stop to get the G for the morning and then it added the other part as well for the other word. So it is very challenging and it takes far longer time for me to edit on this app on any of the Android devices. I don't have this problem on my iPhone or even my iPad. It just works properly and flawlessly on iOS devices just with Android devices, whether it be Samsung, Google. And because I do own those devices and have tried on those devices, it's just like a pain. So editing on the phone, especially with this app on Android devices, it's a real challenge. But the video quality
quality, I'm quite happy with this. Even in low light, I feel like the S24 Ultra is performing quite good. I was happy with the 4K 60 frames per second, not necessarily happy with the 4K 30 frames per second. But for daily vlog, I do use 4K 60 frames or, or if I'm using the action cam to daily vlog, I do 4K 50 just so that, you know, the action cam doesn't freak out with artificial lights. But yeah, the video quality is actually good and I like it more than I liked it on my S23 Ultra. So the S24 Ultra is actually good. So let me show you a low light video that I shot, which I should have it here. So this one right here is a low light. This is quite good to be honest, at least for me in comparison to the S23 Ultra, it's way better in the S24 Ultra and in much worse condition, for example, right here. So this one, it's still good. S23 Ultra was not as good as this. So I'm quite happy with the S24 Ultra. But with that being said, I still won't shoot with the S24 Ultra because just transferring the recorded files from the S24 Ultra to the Mac is a pain. And yes, some people might be thinking that, oh, you can upload to Google Drive and you can access the Google Drive on your Mac, but that's a problem as well because uploading to the Google Drive takes a lot of time. I could use 5G to do it a bit faster because my Wi-Fi speed, especially the upload speed is not that much. Download is I think about 90 average and the upload is about 20 average. So if I have like, you know, on an average, I for the daily vlogs have somewhere around 20 to 40 clips, like roughly that's average. So uploading all those 4K 60 frames clips on Google Drive, it's gonna take a long time and then I would have to wait for it to download, then import them in the final cut. So it's gonna be a lot of problem. But with the iPhone, when I record in the iPhone, I can just airdrop it and that's not gonna take a lot of time. It's very instant. It's like done within one to two minutes. If YouTube was the only full-time gig that I had, which currently it's not because I don't make any money off of YouTube. If that was the case, then I would 100%, you know, have all the time in the world to be recording from the S24 Ultra or any other Android devices and then uploading them to Google Drive, downloading from the Google Drive on my Mac and then importing them onto the final cut. I would have all the time in the world to do that. But since it's not my full-time job and I have something else, I need to, you know, like find time. So it's really hard because in a day I have to go to work and then come home, do the vlog as well, find time to, you know, edit because editing also takes time. So it's like a mess at the moment. So that's why I record on an iPhone and then use the iPhone to export everything to my Mac or actually airdrop it into my Mac. And then I edit on the Mac. And if I don't have access to my Mac for whatever reason, I could edit everything on my iPhone as well because editing on the iPhone using the InShot app is actually easier for me as well. And it doesn't have any issues that I experience in the Android phone. One of the only reasons I use iPhone is because of the video quality because I like it much more than any other devices out there. And also because of iMessage. Apart from that, I use Android for pretty much everything, whether it be surfing the internet or taking photos or anything using any apps. I rely on Android more than iPhone. Sometimes for taking photos, I do switch to iPhone as well, but it's like a 50-50 split. Okay, the hyperlapse yesterday from the Galaxy S24 Ultra was not that great because the clouds were not moving and I feel like the cloud is not moving today as well. But let's do a time lapse from the iPhone 15 Pro Max to see if there is noticeable changes. And while the time lapse is happening, I'm gonna do my nightly ritual as well. So you don't get to see the nightly ritual in this vlog, but I'll be doing that as the time lapse is happening. Sink to the deep end, heard and defeated. Uh oh, uh oh. Thought I could do this, laugh through the sadness. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't know how I ended up, find it up to last. Uh oh, uh oh. Sink to the deep end, heard and defeated. Uh oh, too little and too late. Okay, this is how the sky is looking and I played back the time lapse and the time lapse because there's no wind and the clouds are not moving. It looks like a still photo. Okay, it's 7.53 p.m. So we're gonna have dinner and the dinner is the same as yesterday. It's mushroom, spinach and rice. And look at the poor dude. He's a little bit sick. So he is sleeping. He's sleeping very soundly. So currently it's 9.40 p.m. Dinner is done and the night is also done. That's pretty much my Tuesday. With that being said, I'm gonna get started with editing the video now. Thank you for watching this video this far. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Till then. Bye.